For those building an Electro character, you may be wondering which of the two Electro Echoes that are full cost you may want to put on character. For both Yin Lin and Kelcharo, you want to put the same one. Let's go over it right now. If you are building Kelcharo or a more DPS oriented Yin Lin, you want to have the Tempest Mephis on both of them. The other four cost Electro option happens to be the Thundering Mephis, which ends up being the one that you end up finding if you want to build Ascension Materials for Kelcharo, but it isn't the one that you may want to use. And you may want to be wondering why that is when the Thundering Mephis here boosts Liberation Damage and Electro Damage, which is both really good good for Yin Lin and Kalcharo, whereas the Tempest Mephis only increases Electro Damage and Heavy Attack, which may not look like a very important stat boost compared to Resonance Liberation, because Yin Lin does provide a lot of damage from her burst. And same goes for Kalcharo, as his bread and butter does involve having, getting his burst up and doing a bunch of attacks doing that. But let's take a look at this a little bit more carefully. With Tempest Mephis, when you use the Echo, My field of expertise. he only does two attacks, but when I use the Thundering Mephis, My field of expertise. he uses like six or seven attacks instead, which eats up time. And when it comes down to a lot of the endgame content, you want to be doing things faster and more effectively, and this slows down the rotations and slows down damage overall. And therefore, you want to be go using the Echo that has the quickest animations possible. Now, you might be thinking that maybe you could probably just animation cancel before the all the strikes ends, but you actually will not want be wanting to do that between these two Echoes because you want to get the buff from it. And the only way to get the buff from each of these two echoes is that you need the last strike to hit and that is when the up for the buff to apply so if you are looking for that buff would you rather wait seven strikes to get the resonance liberation or just wait for two attacks to get a buff in heavy attack and electro damage i'm gonna go with the one that requires the least amount of time that being said the only time you would maybe want to do the opposite is if you have better substat stats on one over the other. In which case, then it's fine because substats or stats in general for your character is more important. Um, during your rotation, you may want to just animation cancel, not worry about the buff until you get a echo that ends up being better that you can replace with it eventually. Which shouldn't take you too long in the long scheme of things unless you are really unlucky, but it, was, it will only be a matter of time. So that was just this video. Hopefully it was quick and easy to understand this time. And if you want more information on electro characters in Weathering Way, then you can check out my video on building Calcero effectively abusing a system the game has right over here. And while you're at it, why not subscribe to the channel if you enjoy and want more of those. But until the next time, adieu and goodbye.